right, so this is lesson 17, and in today's lesson you're going to learn that when you take a positive cube, number cube and a negative number cube and you put them together, they equal zero. So if I have a positive two and a negative two together, they equal zero, which can be any color because zero is not positive or negative. So we know that when you put a positive cube and a negative cube of the same number together, it's going to equal zero. What if we put these two together? I want to add a negative 3 and a negative 5. Now, what am I going to do there? What is my answer if I'm adding a negative 3 and a negative 5? Eight. Positive 8 or negative 8? Negative. negative 8. They are both negative numbers. So if we add two negative numbers, our answer is going to be negative. So if we have a negative 3 and a negative 5, our answer is negative 8. What if I put this up on the balance? Positive 3 and a positive 5, what is my answer going to be? Bobby? What? If I have a positive 3 and a positive 5, what's my answer? Positive 8. Positive 8. It's that simple. Positive 8. That's the answer. Um, let's say that I have this on my board. I have a negative 3 and a positive 5. What do you think I could do here, Chris? I hear that's a, um, make it like a 0, kind of, I guess. Okay. Okay. There's one other thing that we can do here to make life even easier. What can I do to this five that will give me a three so that I can then take that zero away and get my answer? Break it down. I can break it down. So what can I break this five down that will help me? Three you got it. So I can break my positive five down to a three and a two. And now, what can I do? I can take the threes away. What am I left with for my answer? Positive two. I'm, I'm left with a positive two. So, negative three plus a positive five equals a positive two. Let's do a couple more examples of that one. If I take a negative four and I add a negative six, what is my answer going to be? I have a negative plus a negative. What's my answer going to be, Benny? Um, a negative. A negative what? Ten. You got it. That's my answer, just like that. Let's say I take a positive eight and a negative two. How can I get my answer? What is a good way to do it, Chris? Break it down. Break it down. What can I break? Six and a two. You got it. You are right on the ball. So I can break that positive eight down to a six and a two. What can I take away now? Two. I can take away the twos. What is my answer? Positive six. Positive six. So positive eight plus a negative two is positive six. Let's do one other one. I have a negative five plus a positive three. What can I do? Is there anything there I can break down to make my life easier? Vanessa? I can break the five down to a three and two. I can break the five down to a three and a two. And then what can I do? Benny? Take the both threes away. I can take the threes away, and what am I left with as my answer? Negative two. Negative two. Um, we also need to make sure that we read these questions properly. We need to know what color stands for what. So if I have a, um, a negative ten, and I want to subtract a negative 5 from that. How am I going to subtract a negative 5? What do I need to do to this negative 10 so that I can subtract a negative 5? Chad? Mm, I'm not sure. Chris? I have a negative 10 and I want to break it down and subtract a negative 5. What can I do to break that negative down? Five. I can put two negative 5s. 
Still have <coughs> negative 10 there. But now if I want to subtract a negative 5, what would my answer be? Negative 5. Negative 5. Um, let's see. Let's say that I have a positive 5 and I want to take away a negative 3. Do I have a negative 3? No. no. So what do I need to do? If I don't have something that I need, what is, what, what, what is my go-to strategy? If I have to do something and I don't have that particular cube, you have to cube, add a zero. I have to add a zero. So if I have this positive 5 and I want to take away a negative 3 and I don't have it, how am I going to create that negative 3? Add a zero. With what numbers? Uh, positive and negative 3. With a positive and a negative 3. Now I can take away my negative 3. So my answer becomes what? What is this equal? Uh, it equals eight. positive 8. So I know that positive 5 minus a negative 3 equals a positive 8. Um, let's do one more. If I have a positive 9, actually we're going to do 3 more. A positive 9, and I want to take away a negative 2. Vanessa, I don't have a negative 2 there to take away. What am I going to do to create it? Zero. I'm going to create a 0 using what number? 2. Using 2's. I need to take away a negative 2. Special delivery. Wait, why? And what is my answer? What is my answer there? I had a positive 5, I'm sorry, I had a positive 9, and I want to take away a negative 2. I created the negative 2 by putting a 0 up there, took it away. What is my answer? Uh, positive 11. Next one, I have a negative 5, and I want to take away a positive 2. How am I going to create that positive 2, Truman? You have to uh, put a pair. I have to put a pair of twos. Now I want to take away positive two, just like it says, and what is my answer? Negative seven. Negative seven, very yes. good. Now I have a negative two, and I want to take away a negative seven. Benny, do I have a negative seven now to take away? She loads. I need to add a zero, a positive, and a negative mm -hmm. seven. Now I can take away my negative 7. Now what can I do? Can I do anything to break this down? To give me a 2 so I can take it away? What can I create with this? If I want to break this down, what would be a good way to break this down? I need pain. Wait, no, no, bye. I want to break it down into two cubes. I need a five and a two. You got it, kiddo. Five and a two. So it's still positive seven. What can I do now to this problem, Chris? Uh, take away the twos. I can take away the twos, and my answer is positive five. Positive five. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. We're good to go.